Hi there, this is Scott from Relevance AI. Uh, today I'm going to take you through a tool that we've built in Relevance. Um, it's a cold call, cold call script creator. And what it does is um, it takes the information about yourself, your company, and your prospect, and then it applies the spin selling technique, which is situation, problem, implication, and need payoff. And then it actually generates a cold call script that you can use on a call. So I've run this tool and let's have a look at what came out the other side. So as you can see, I've put in some details about us and what we do, our name. And this is me selling to, for example, Gary V uh, from VaynerX. So this is his company's LinkedIn profile and this is his LinkedIn profile. Okay, perfect. So here we've got an opening. Uh, we've got a situation question. We've got problem questions. We've got implement, impl implication pre uh, questions. And then we've got need payoff. So this is pretty cool, actually. It understands that VaynerX has subsidiaries, which is cool. Uh, some questions on how they currently handle prospects and any areas that they would want to make a bit better. And then it actually goes into our product, which is like manual prospect research is hard. So how do you think these manual aspects impact your team's productivity? So it's starting to talk about relevance AI as a solution, which is cool. And then consider VaynerX's global goal of building brands. How do you think AI powered tools for hyper-personalized outreach and prospect research would align with that objective? That's cool. So it's probably not perfect and probably do with some adjustment, but um, it's actually quite a good start. This is just an example. What I'm going to take you through is how you can edit this and make it more tailored to the way that you sell uh, and the things that you know about your customer. What you do here is you click on clone to edit, and this will then add this template to your account. If you don't have an account, it will prompt you to sign up. Okay, so now we're in. As you can see, these are the user inputs. So these are the questions that I put in the details for on that first page for it to run. So you can see I've got company, product name, uh, description, company or LinkedIn profile, prospect, that's cool. And you can add any other uh, input if you like here. Say for example, you wanted to add in a section where you could say whether this was a new prospect or someone you'd had a conversation with before, you could do that. So you could put a uh, new prospect and you could put yes or no. And then you could use that in the prompt further down. So. Let me show you how that works. So what it does is currently is it actually goes off and goes to LinkedIn. It fetches the company description from LinkedIn. It then gets information from the uh, prospects LinkedIn. So this gets the company profile. This one gets the individual's profile. And then does some stuff with LMs. And in this case, it's GPT 3.5, but it can actually be any LM you'd like. It obviously gets given the product name, it gets given the product description. It takes the summary from LinkedIn to understand the customer company information. And then it takes in the in profile of the individual prospect. It takes a summary data of that. And then it just says, write personalized spin selling questions for the above. It must show that you know something about them and their business. Keep it really brief. Say for example, you don't adopt the spin selling technique, say you do another method, you can change that in here. Say you have any other context that you, the way they usually sell, the things that you have in your playbook, you can add them in here and just ask the LM to use them instead. And then the last LM output is based on the answer of the above, formulate a personalized cold call script that shows that you've done research on the company and the prospect. This uh, script should start with a personalized hook to make it clear why they should speak to you. Um, and again, you could change this, you can optimize this, you can edit this, depending on however it is you'd like the information to come back. And that's it, that's how it works. And if I run this again, you'll start to see how it works for each steps. And it also help you understand how you can iterate quite quickly on this. So say you want to make an adjustment, you can run it see what comes out the other side, keep going until you've got something that you're really happy with and kind of is, is custom to you, your business, your needs and the way that you sell. So you can see that it's got the LinkedIn profile. You can see then that it's got the description of, of Gary V from his LinkedIn profile. Then you can see 
that it's got those situation questions. So these are these are them here. And then um, you can then see kind of what the output would look like from there. Perfect. So that's it. That's how it works. It's pretty simple. Uh, I hope it, may, it seems really easy to adjust and edit it based on your needs. The last thing I would add is that you can actually run these in bulk in a table. So for example, what you can do is you can easily add um, a spreadsheet of um, company description, company name, LinkedIn company link, LinkedIn profile link, and you can actually run the tool in bulk. And then it would give you all these outputs that you could then share with your sales team, for example. And all to do that is you just upload a file and then kind of run the tool. It's very, very simple and straightforward. So thank you very much for listening. I hope this has been valuable. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you very much. Cheers.